Hi, my name's Helen, and I'm here to give you a very brief introduction to some new materials on Passaggi. Passaggi's Quants album contains harpsichord realisations of the harmonic progressions given by Quants in Chapter 13, entitled Of Extempore Variations on Simple Intervals, from his famous treatise on flute playing, published in 1752. There are several versions of the original on IMSLP, including a late 18th century English translation with very clear engravings of the musical examples, and links to these documents are in the comments below and on the library page of the Passaggi website. I've enlisted the help of a couple of colleagues to demonstrate how the Passaggi materials can be used with Quantz's treatise when practising. Here, Amelia is using track 2, Quantz's table 8, figure 2, to practise the ornaments given in Quantz's table 9, figure 2. <laughs> Emily is using track 7 to practice the ornaments given in Quantz's table 11, figure 7. Looping the tracks enables you to practice either all the ornaments Quantz gives for a particular harmonic progression, or a small selection of ornaments over and over again. Quantz is very clear about the importance of transposing your ornaments into different keys. This is how he introduces his table of harmonic progressions. To this end, I have gathered together a table of the most common kinds of intervals, together with the bases appropriate to them, and above the bases have figured the harmony for them, so that the variations stemming naturally from these numbers or figures will be seen clearly in the following tables, and thus may be transposed easily into all the keys in which you have to play. Track 26 onwards provides harmonic progressions through the major keys of Quantz's Table 8, figures 1 to 6. Amelia is going to demonstrate how to practice these now. So there are two ways of internalising Quantz's ornaments using Passaggi. Playing the different ornaments Quantz gives over and over, or choosing one and playing it in a sequence of keys. This is a very brief introduction, simply covering how to use the Passaggi materials for Quantz's treatise. His chapter on extempore variations contains lots of information about what makes the tasteful use of improvised embellishments in this period, so I highly recommend reading it in conjunction with your practice. Quantz himself says... I do not pretend to have created, in these few examples, all the variations it is possible to discover on these intervals. I present them only as an introduction for the novice. Those who have advanced to the point where they know how to use these properly will not find it difficult to invent more. So if you're feeling brave after spending some time with Quant and Persagi, send us a video on social media.